Today we're taking a look at another upcoming premium ship, this time a tier 8 light cruiser from the Pan American line. Uh, this might give us a bit of insight into what the new line is going to look like, uh, but this is a tier 8 light cruiser and it's got some interesting things about it. Obviously the turrets look a little like Worcester turrets, don't they? Um, we'll see how they actually perform in game, but we do have a 6 second reload here on 8 guns, which leads to just okay DPM. Um, the main thing here is that we only have armor piercing, as you can see there. The gimmick with this ship is going to be how many consumables you have. <laughs> yeah, at tier 8, that is a lot. So we have a 9 kilometer radar. So we don't quite have that stealth radar, which is a good thing. I'm not a huge fan of stealth radars, but uh, Brisbane is a recent release, so we should probably mention that. Not quite a stealth radar. But still, 25 second radar at 9 kilometers is pretty decent here. We do have, by the looks of things, a super heal and a bunch of them. So depending on how much of the permanent damage or heavier damage, that's citadel hits, torpedo hits, um, bullpens, those kinds of things, they do heavier damage to your ship. And some super heals aren't able to heal all that back. Uh, Salem is a great example of that, where you have humongous healing potential on the Salem, but you tend not to be able to use all of it because it can't heal back some of those heavier hits. Minotaur, for example, heals back more of that, so you can get more value out of more super heals. Uh, we do have a Hydro here, which is just a short range one, but uh, it lasts a reasonable amount of time. It'll be good for dealing with torpedoes, potentially. Um, we can also slot a Defensive Fire here and then spotting pl Spotter Plane or a Fighter. But considering we only have 15 kilometers of range, I think a spotting aircraft will be pretty nice. The build, as you can see, pretty standard cruiser stuff here. We are focused a little bit more on our main guns, even though we do have torpedoes. Um, I'm kind of focusing on main guns. We only got a 16 point commander here, but this is kind of what I'm going for here. I'm even taking eye in the sky um, on some of these ships. I really enjoy having a shorter duration, faster cooldown um, spotter plane. It can be very useful for just getting that little bit of extra damage as someone's leaving your range or as someone's approaching you then you can start farming them just that little bit earlier um, i typically don't need the total duration of the spotter plane so we'll see how it goes um, our torpedoes are just decent i would say eight kilometers is pretty nice they do decent damage they're not particularly fast though um, so they're more going to be used for uh yoloing around islands potentially or when people are really pushing into you, you can drop some torps and try and run away. Should look at the armor really quick here. We can see 27 on the deck, but 25 everywhere else. So it's gonna be pretty easy to do good damage to this thing. Um, I actually hadn't looked at the armor profile before recording. <laughs> that is the Citadel. That is very different than what I was expecting. Holy crap. Yeah, so you're gonna die quick in this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> And yeah, it's it's not very well armored, and we have other ships that are um, similar to this, where they don't have the most armor on the Citadel, and you can often just eat over pens if you sit flat broadside. But given the width of this ship, it's not very skinny compared to some of those others. So I think this is going to die pretty quickly if you do eat Citadels. So I would assume then, based on that, that we might end up seeing a super heal that can heal back a lot of Citadel damage. <laughs> We'll see though. Let's uh, let's hop into the game, see how it goes. Uh, AP only ship with uh, with a radar at tier eight. Wow, that was aggressive announcement for the Pan American line. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, all right, first game. Let's see how we get along here. I'm probably gonna go try and play around some islands over here. See how that goes with our uh, radar and see. I should mention that we do have a special uh, combat instructions here. Once you have enough hits on target and you can activate this skill, it's gonna give you 80% cooldown on your consumables. That is very interesting. So you potentially could farm up this buff, radar something, activate it, and then radar it again right away. That is pretty wild. Um, we should mention also the AA. We have uh, pretty long range AA for tier 8, I would say. 
considering it's uh, six and a half, six point nine kilometers. And we're shooting down. What are these? Shokaku planes, reasonably well. Um, not too bad here. I haven't spec A at all. We don't even have uh, defensive fire or anything like that on board. So this consumable might be quite interesting. We also have um, airstrikes that are from our planes, so they don't just drop off the side of our ship uselessly. So pretty massive amount of utility here for a tier eight, I gotta say. Alrighty, let's see what this AP can do. Okay. It does have improved pen angles, I'm pretty sure. A little high there. Oh my goodness, you don't even need that many salvos to really... To really, um... Activate these instructions. Wild. Okay. A little tricky there. Let's do our hydro up here. Oh, but they start to decay pretty quick. The instructions do definitely decay reasonably quickly. All right, a lot of a lot of overpens into the vents in here so far. Yeah, lots of overpens. So against DDs, you're gonna want to face the bigger DDs or hope that the little DDs are angling to you a little bit more. The Vladivostok is someone who shot me earlier. So, 33k already. Um, the AP can actually sit at L C people. <laughs> All right, that's pretty wild. Okay, long range, how is our shell velocity? Because that will matter. Not too bad. AP only will make it a little harder to farm big damage numbers, I think. HE often is such a great thing to have just because of the fires that you actually get on battleships they tick for a lot so we don't actually have that here but uh it's all right we are tier eight remember so <laughs> we gotta we gotta consider our power level as a tier eight it's pretty pretty good so far I gotta say you can see how we starting to get to the edge of my range here so we can uh pop our spotter <laughs> And we have, what, 18 kilometers of range? 13 second travel time to 18 kilometers? All right. Maybe not the easiest thing to lead at those ranges. Yeah, as soon as this guy's angled, it's really hard. Ah, and our plane's done. So, if we feel like we want our plane back, we push F. Dang, that's kind of nasty. 80% cooldown for 30 seconds. So if you don't get your consumable back in that 30 seconds, it'll go back to its normal cooldown simply with the um, extra time taken off already. So it's not like it instantly refreshes. It just takes 80% of cooldown away for 30 seconds. So I think that means you should get most of them back. Um, I'm not sure about the... I'm not sure about the spotter plane though. I do have this uh, eye in the sky or whatever that gives me the shorter duration, shorter cooldown on the plane. So keep that in mind when it comes to um, your consumables. You might not get them all back instantly, but that should be more than enough to give you your hydro or your radar back, I think. Okay, Rupert shot us. Let's try and not eat a bunch of Citadel damage. That would be great. So a reasonably powerful uh, combat instructions, although, you know, not the most impactful because it's not like giving you burst or anything like that. And this AP is not amazing here. Really would love to have AG. You can see our, our damage is just not there. And to be fair, we are chasing. So. That's something, of course, that uh, as a cruiser, you're not going to be as good at. Wow, just like that, uh, combat instructions available again. So I think you're probably ideally gonna wanna wait for, you know, your radar or your heal, that kind of thing. 
Although we're kind of crushing this cruiser. So maybe it's just that the Ruprecht is a ridiculously tanky battleship against small caliber AP. Uh, maybe since we're, if we shoot at actually uh, squishier targets, especially considering our improved pen angles, we'll do much better. I wonder what the line is gonna. Is, I wonder if the line is gonna be exactly like this. I haven't looked closely enough at the um, dev blogs and that kind of thing for what this new line is gonna be, but kind of interesting to have light cruisers like this with crazy consumable reloads. But another AP focus line. I don't really have many of those for light cruisers. You know, it's Minotaur really. All right, he's broadside. Turning broadside. Hopefully we can get him now. There we go. Full pens. Hey, let's go. We finally get him. 80k? That's a respectable cruiser game. Especially when one where we're chasing. I gotta say, that's not bad. Or uh, tier 8, I think. Oh, we found the carrier. Nice. Angled. We're not going to do a lot here, right? Yeah. Even with improved pen angles, that's just a little bit too steep of an angle. Start to get some decent pens in. So that is going to be the downside, right? Even though we had a pretty decent game here, the, the AP-only nature is going to struggle against certain targets that are going to be angled. And against lightly armored targets too. DDs are... As we saw against that Benson, is not the easiest thing in the world to pen. Get a lot of overpens, though, certainly. Even at this angle, still. A lot of bounces. But he's showing his more broadside now, which is nice. 6.9 kilometer AA as well. For tier 8, a little ridiculous. Oh, I can't quite Citadel him. The the Citadels into the uh, light cruiser at the beginning there gave me some hope for, for being able to just get some extra pen out of nowhere or something like that, but unfortunately not. Oh, did he lead us enough this time? Looks like he did. Fair enough. Look at that. Ah, very good. Very good. So the heal and heal back a lot of permanent damage. Torps are all permanent, right? Especially when they hit you in the belt like that. So we get our super heal. Sure, we'll take some damage, whatever. We've got a super heal. And the best part here is just that we're going to be able to... Uh, have a heal again just instantly. That's kind of ridiculous. Probably use Torps here, honestly. But yeah, two. Oh, the cooldown. Okay, let's see what the cooldown comes to. Uh, we don't quite get it back. You see that? They're just like two seconds out of sync. But it's not hard to. Uh, it's not hard to get this uh, buff, this combat instructions. So you kind of. Assuming you have the ability to fire enough times to get your combat instructions you kind of have a super heal with a 30 second cooldown but to be fair you do have to be shooting so if if you're low health and if you open up you're gonna die you can't use it then so there's some limits to it um but just tier 8 having a heal at all on a cruiser is makes it special so yeah this this thing might be a uh, a little bit much for tier 8? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's go again. Looks like for our second game, we don't quite have the same blessed matchmaker. Uh, going up against some tier 10s here. And uh, CV double sub. Not what we want to see, basically, ever. Um, so we'll see what we can do. We do have a lot of utility in this thing. So that's, that's something to keep in mind, right? We, it's just a ridiculous amount of utility. So... We'll try and push for C here and make use of all that utility, hopefully. Broadside bolt, sure.
These are 150s, keep in mind, right? So we can't exactly expect them to, uh, <laughs> to be citadeling everything at any range, right? really gonna come out looks like he's fine no he's turning away just enough can't quite get him too bad see and just like that our buff just disappears very very quickly um how how sustainable is this position huh yikes it doesn't feel particularly sustainable. But maybe if the Schlieffen doesn't come out this way, we'll be alright. And hey, you know what? The Minnesota's turning around, so we can kind of chill here for a bit. Leaf and shot me. We're angled enough, I think. Probably some overpen damage, if anything. Yeah, this buff. I really. You really want to just find a target that you can farm it up on, honestly. Off our plane, maybe that'll spot the Minnesota. I don't really want to use the radar right now. There's a sub right here. That feels bad. Are there two subs here? Wild. Well, this could hurt. <laughs> uh, oh, he didn't shoot us. Nice. Ethan's not looking our way. That's lucky. Oh, we're going to hit land three. Okay. Not bad. Could certainly use some support. Port. <laughs> uh, hey, Kerfers! Thanks, bro! <laughs> I guess we'll take it. So, here is a very, very tricky spot to be in. Because I know there's a sub, and how do I deal with him without my Hydro, right? All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. I think I'll leave for now. We've done a decent job of holding. If we get spotted, I'll pop my radar for the Groningen. Doesn't look like we get spotted. Alright. Oh, we do just at the end. Fair enough. Still pop the radar. Let's see where people are at. But was the sub, or is the sub that's currently spotting us? How do we dodge in a cruiser? Huh? I think that's the way. Like that. Problema resuelto, señor. Torpedos al frente. Torpedos a estribor. Torpedos a popa. And the splashes aren't very accurate, so I don't really have any point of reference here. Nuestra victoria está cerca. I just have to run, I guess? I don't know what I don't know how to deal with the sub here like this. Yeah, I kinda just have to run away. 
I don't know how to... Uh, submarine fights, man. I don't want to be too negative in videos, but they don't make any sense. As a surface ship player, what do you even do? Run? Hope they don't go after you? Yes. We at least got a hit on him. Shoot the Balti. Maybe finish him off. Good. Torpedos al frente. Hemos destruido un crucero enemigo. Torpedos a proa. Torpedos a popa. Impossible to hit right away, man. Silly. Okay, we do get him. That's nice. Alarma de incendio. Triple fire, huh? That's kind of ridiculous. That's some good fire chance, I guess. Good thing we got a super heal. I never really got a chance to farm my buff this uh, this round. So you can see the weakness now, right, of, of relying on combat instructions to give you consumable reload. So there's situations where it just doesn't always work. Let's see, he does have the pen for our citadel, so we better put it in here. Hey, at least we got some full pens in on him. That's good. We found the carrier. Nice. Well, we're gonna miss out on our buff again. <laughs> That's tough, man. But this was tier 10. We kind of locked C down as a tier 8. So, I think I think this thing is kind of really good at tier 8, honestly. Oh boy, I think that, that could potentially just kill me outright. Look at that turning radius, too. I managed to turn around and stay within the cap. Not bad. There we go. Give us our buff so we can actually have our heal back. Actually, gonna be close. I have to angle these planes. Hope he doesn't do 9k to us. Oh, nice. He went. A little farther, come on! Give heal! There it is. 12 seconds and we'll have a heal. Good. So that that is an extremely powerful thing to have, and yet it'd be very difficult too. You know what? 90k? 95k against tier 10? We will take that. This is his last strike. No more after this. And we dodged it. Nice. It's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong cruiser, man. It's a pretty strong cruiser. I gotta say. Given, given the uh, position we were in this game and that we were chasing most of last game, what does an ideal game look like? Um, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Received a lot of damage, still managed to live. But yeah, awkward, awkward consumable reload, certainly. I didn't notice that when I moused over this uh, initially before I played it. So you gotta keep that in mind. Are they all just atrocious? Yeah, they, they kinda are. Um, so if I take if I take this um, skill away, eye in the sky, the spotter plane, yeah, so 228. 
you might not actually get that one back dur during the uh, combat instructions, but it'll get you close. Pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful little tier eight light cruiser here. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys uh, watching and have a great rest of your day.